Hey, how's it going, Garrett? Hello. Hey, how's it going? how are you? Doing really well. Having a lovely day. How about you? Good, good. I'm glad. Me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, Jack, um, what was one of your favorite things about playing uh, Sokka in Avatar The Last Airbender? Uh, so I was... As I was, I was, I was talking about this a little bit on the panel, but I, one thing that I absolutely loved was just the very pleasant surprise of realizing how much they wanted to do narratively with these characters. And with Sokka in particular, it was a character that like, you know, when we started at the beginning, it was like, great, this is very fun. This is a fun, like comedic relief character. Yeah. And then cracking open a script and seeing like, okay, now we're getting a, romance with this character now we're getting him dealing with loss now we're getting his self-doubt now we're getting like the constant surprise of seeing like okay we're gonna have a real arc for each of these characters they're all gonna come of age throughout the course of this show they're all gonna grow up they're all gonna learn stuff i think like that was a very pleasant surprise um and and an incredibly cool thing uh it's just rare like it was i i didn't know going in how serial the show was how ambitious the like storytelling would be how much of an arc the whole series would have um so that was really cool and then in just like the day-to-day uh the the i i loved the comedy stuff and and the (laughs) moments where we could get like legitimately silly and you know the the all the cactus juice type of stuff anything like that where it was like (laughs) let's really like play let's really like try some stuff was always a blast yeah 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 um I, I think that's one of one of the really great things about The Last Airbender was that, I mean, it was a kid's show, but also it dealt with a lot of things that, you know, were very serious and, yeah. you know, things that even an adult, I think, could could really think. Yeah, I mean, you get, like, what, it's like the second or third episode that you realize, like, oh, no, no, this guy's the last of his people because of, like, genocide. Like, we're going to talk about yeah. that on a kid's show, like, really early. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it just yeah. really it was a uh, it was really uncommon for American kids television at the time to be that serialized to just try to tell you know I I was so accu- I was so accustomed to just like okay it's these one off fun little stories that will come back to these characters each time then mm-hmm. just the discovery of like oh no we're we're gonna tell a like specific three season arc we're gonna really explore a story over a constrained amount of time and really dive in it was so cool yeah yeah i i mean i loved watching avatar growing up and i i hope to see to see more stuff in that in that world as yeah uh, as time goes on i think i think that's happening i think uh, avatar studios (laughs) that would be absolutely amazing (laughs) (laughs) i did Um, also want to ask you uh what what do you like the most about voice acting just in general uh the the that that like playfulness and creative freedom of just like coming into a booth and um it's you really get to try stuff like with live action things there it's you get you get plenty of that as well but there is always like each take is you have to reset everything you have to you know the camera it's just like so many people have to coordinate and align and lock in at the right moment to like get a shot just right and you get one take on that and then you know so so the number of takes you can do of something is just so much more constrained uh whereas voice Mm. acting it's like great roll another one try another one try it like this cool do three in a row explore and that that uh just really works for me like is just aligns with my creative process i love the like cool rather than like picking here's exactly what I think this perfectly needs to be the freedom to be like, here's like three ideas. Let's all try them and let's see how they're going and see what ends up working. And then when we find one we like, we can push further into that and make that more, you know, um, that, that exploratory process is so exciting to me. Yeah. I mean, from a technical standpoint, I feel like it works too, because I I assume they're animating after they find which lines they like. Oh yeah, yeah. You record the whole thing. They edit the whole thing. They make an animatic with the edited, voice track and then they start animating off of that so it's like yeah they 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 get to we get to explore early and the acting of the animation comes off of us so cool thank you so much jack for yeah speaking with me it was great meeting you great to meet you great chat with you Garrett. well i hope you have a great rest of your day all right you too (laughs) be well yeah